This is Soapbox Radio. Potting it out there. Potting it out there with my lime boots. The Lifestyle Edit. Hey guys, it's Ryan. It's a Thursday. We're coming to you live from Soap, uh, from 27 Boxes in Melville. Today in the studio, I have Patrick Henshi from HMD, the new home of Nokia Mobile Devices. Patrick is head of uh, product and marketing at HMD. Um, over the last year, Nokia has returned to market with a jam-packed offering of phones. In South Africa, we have had 12 new launches in the past 12 months. Quite a feat. Uh, Patrick, welcome. Talk to me about the return of Nokia and HMD's first year. Thanks very much, Ryan. It's good. It's great to be here. So, yeah, 12 months. And that's, uh, we had our first uh, anniversary birthday the other day on 1st December. So, sure. HMD, okay. yeah. home of Nokia phones. Yeah. And really, it's it, it's great to be, you know, involved in the industry again. Yeah. You know, the, the love for the brand or the Nokia brand has been amazing. And it's just, you know, the amount of people that say, oh, wow, Nokia. And, and yeah. now the message that we come back with now, which is really resonating with people, is Nokia smartphones running Android. Yeah. And, and it really has been such a busy year in terms of announcements, in terms of launching new products from the 3310 to the Nokia 8 to announcing partnerships with old friends, uh, Zeiss, who yeah. are very involved in sort of the Nokia imaging heritage. Yeah. So, yeah, it's been an amazing whirlwind year. So 11 new phones in 11 months, Patrick. That's that's really has been and that's you know we sure. always said that we wanted to be a global company right from the get go. Yeah. That was a, and uh, that just you know the the fact that we are now selling devices in 80 countries already. Sure. It, it really just uh, tells that the, the power of uh, how many people were accepting the Nokia brand back in and you know looking for quality devices running Android quality smartphones running Android. And um, HMB, HMD being the home of Nokia, it's not just HMD in South Africa for the last 12 months, it's worldwide. It's eh? a, a really, that's a, you know, we talk about a, uh, the, the largest startup or, or startup with global reach immediately. And that was the plan right from, right from the beginning. Yeah. Okay. So it all started with the relaunch of the, of the iconic 3310. It actually started a little, before that. a okay. little bit before that. Uh, the first device we announced was the Nokia Six, and we we launched that uh, in in China okay. originally. And then it was the big sort of the, the outpouring came through at, at Barcelona and Mobile World Congress this year, mm, mm. and it was amazing. I had I had the chance to be there. I was working on the stand. You know, we were engaging, talking with consumers, and it, it was amazing with the thirty three ten. The amount of people coming to the stand to mm. see a feature phone. Yeah, yeah. That was it was incredible, and then it was a it was a great opportunity to to also introduce the the new range of smartphones running pure, secure, and always up to date Android. Okay, so thirty three ten being well received, as you said, winning over twenty awards. Tell us about the Nokia six. The the Nokia six that was also that was when we first launched. We had uh, three mid range devices. We had the Nokia three, we had the Nokia five, and we had the the Nokia six. So mm. at Mobile World Congress, Nokia Nokia six was the uh, you know the the highest priced of the devices yeah. there. But slowly, but you know the, the plan was always to to grow the portfolio and have more devices available. Mm. So in South Africa now we've introduced the the Nokia two. We've also uh, launched the Nokia eight, which was our your flagship, flagship. device. I saw. I was with you guys at the at, at the, the the media day for the uh, Nokia two, um, one six double nine sixteen ninety nine cash price. Eh? There's actually a, there's a better price on. Uh, oh, wonderful. Or, yeah, at, at game at the moment it's yeah. one five nine nine. Sure. So so really. For a smartphone, for a full function smartphone, with a four thousand milliamp hour battery. Sure. And the key thing there was, and this this talks to a lot about our sort of compu- co- consumer research. Mm. And we partner heavy with Google, and nobody knows you better than Google. Mm. And, and <laughs> they've just, <laughs> you know, they've got a, a lot of you know consumer interest. And and one of the things that came through very strongly when talking to consumers is they, you know, they want something simple, they want something easy. Yeah. And, and also, consumers have specific needs. A Nokia 2 case in point, that was a device that's designed for people who need long battery life. And mm. we sort of pegged that a two-day battery life. Two days, huh? 4,000 milliamp hour battery, sure. two-day battery life. And this is for people who essentially are, you know, traveling to and from work. You know, they've mm. got like sort of an hour or more commute. They want to be able to sort of go on social media, watch mm. some video clips, mm. um, and then, you know, go to work. And it's great that they, on their way home, mm. their phone's still got enough battery to do that. It's still yeah. got enough battery the next morning to sure. do those functions. Okay. So, Wonderful. yeah, and then Nokia 8, of course, flagship. You need, you know, okay. uh, really the design, performance, and experience. Okay, we're going to come back to the Nokia 8 shortly. Tell me, is there space in the market for yet another smartphone brand, or be it the, Nokia, the beloved Nokia brand? You know, it's, it's, it's about consumers, and it's about what consumers want. Mm. 
and, and there's always going to be space if you have something that consumers yeah. want. And I think really that the differentiation, the story that we've come with about this pure, secure, and up-to-date mm. Android, mm. that is such an important one. Coupled with the, you know, the, the Nokia heritage and Nokia durability and, and devices made for mm. everyday life. Yeah, yeah. So when people hear those start messages, it's, it's like, yes, wow, it's um, great quality, affordable prices, uh, and running pure, secure Android. Okay. So Nokia's had a great name and reputation globally and here in South Africa back in the day. Is HMD relying on this to recapture the market? I think we're, it's, um, it, gives, it certainly gives us a step up mm. in terms of building a brand. It's, uh, it, you know, we, have the, we, we have the Nokia brand, mm. uh, which is, as you say, such a strong brand. But you know, coupled with that, we, we, we do have to, you know, I always talk about having the minerals. Yeah. You know, we, we, we've got to back that up with good product and, and sort of have that, you know, quality devices that Nokia was known for, like that, that heritage. And then also very important for us and, and, and something that we really enjoy talking about is the pure, secure and up-to-date Android. Mm. The fact that, right, this is the way Google intended Android to be mm. on your device. Mm. No third-party apps, no th skins, no bloatware on your device. Mm. And getting these regular updates to make sure that you're, you know, trust. Yeah. Trust that your device is secure. And yeah. with that, for, for that to function, you need to get those m monthly updates and even platform updates mm. as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see Janet says on Facebook she likes the idea of that two-day battery life on the Nokia 2. I think you'll find most people enjoy that uh, two-day battery life coupled with that great price. I mean, 1599 is even better than the price I heard of the 1699. So 1699 so, definitely, sure. but there are those, those, those Christmas specials are out there at the moment. Yeah. Okay. So then what makes a Nokia a Nokia these days, Patrick? What makes a Nokia uh, a Nokia? Well, uh, if you look at what Nokia was, yeah. s simplicity, durability, and, and it's about, you know, the, today it's all about a tech race, let's say spec race and all mm. that. I, I think we've taken ourselves out of that and going, okay, what's what's really important, mm, mm. okay? Uh, it's And uh, I think it's about how we you, we take that technology and merge that into a device that you're going to have to use every yes. day. And that's that's really the Nokia magic. Mm, mm. And making sure that's what the user needs, what the user wants. You know, we, we talk about technology for everyday life. Mm. You know, the, the device is designed to take those, you know, little bumps. Uh, mm. everyday. It's, it's durable. It's, it's sturdy. Yeah. Um, and just, you know, talking about, you know, a lot of people, you talk to them, great, I bought my phone, but after six months, you know, it's so slow. Mm. It's, a, it's about, well, yes, there's been improvements made. And mm. you're getting those, you're getting all those updates, continuously yes. getting those updates. So future-proofing your device. Yes. Okay. Guys, hang around. When we come back, I'm going to carry on chatting to Patrick about Nokia and our InstaWall competition that we've got running, which is pretty much closed now. And we'll uh, talk about the winner. We're back shortly. This is Soapbox Radio. Potting it out there. Potting it out there with my lime boots. The Lifestyle Edit. Share your thoughts and be part of the show now. Send a message on Twitter or Facebook at MyLimeBoots. Find MyLimeBoots on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. At MyLimeBoots and on you, 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 YouTube. At MyLimeBoots Live. I'm live this morning chatting to Patrick Henchy from Nokia about their new offering and their return to market. Patrick, you mentioned just now uh, Nokia is running pure Android. What does that mean to a tech, non-savvy person like myself? What does that physically mean in my day-to-day -day existence? So it's about the way you use the device. You switch your device off and you've got to use the interface. Mm. All right? So the, the pure Google, it's got the Google interface. And that's how essentially Google intends Android to be used. There's no sort of third party or skin on top of it, which changes the way you interact, where the menus are found, where the settings are found. You know, it's always the same. Uh, slide up, get all your applications. Slide yeah. to the left, get your Google Assistant. Okay. All right. That's uh, that's it. And then also, it's a case of um, making sure that we leave it up to the customer to decide what applications they want on. It's not coming preloaded. It's a not bunch coming preloaded. Any, anything. Mm. You know, uh, uh, applications that want to always update that you're not using. Mm. So essentially, the device comes with uh, Google, the mm. Google services mm -hmm. on the device. And, and that's it. It's up to you to decide mm. what applications you want to load. I saw that when I got the Nokia 8 from you guys, um, which I've had for about three months now. Um, and it really had nothing on it, ex ex except, as you say, the Google suite, which is great. I put on the bits and pieces that I want and I add. So I don't have this phone with 13 screens of apps. I'm trying to remember what needs to be, what do I need, what don't I need. Really, it made for a great experience, you know. So, so that was kind of key when we decided to, to go this pure Android. Mm. Because... As I say, you know, you, you, you go and you talk to customers and you talk to consumers and you get their, their feedback. And, and something that really resonated or something that kept on coming through the pain point was that 
this is, you know, I get it, and somebody's trying to decide how I want to use my phone. Mm. A phone is such a personal thing. Sure. And it's also, you know, there are these apps that are on there that I can't uninstall, that I can't get rid of. They, mm. They're taking a battery. They, um, and, and also, the, the key thing here is that you now deciding what apps you put on your device. Mm. you deciding what's taking up space because space is a commodity. Of course, yeah. And space on a phone is a certainly a huge commodity. <laughs> so now it's up to you to decide what's mm. going to take up that space. Yeah, wonderful. I like that. I like the fact that you're in control of your phone and you're in control of what's on what's on there. Um, the flagship Nokia 8 runs Android 8.0 Oreo. Um, it actually it? launched. So this is okay. this is another one of our commitments. Sorry to, okay. to, okay. to interrupt you. Yeah. Uh, it it launched with Nougat, which was okay. Android seven. Yeah. And one of our commitments is pure, secure, always up to date Android. Mm. And your key here is platform updates as well. Mm. So you know we launched it just prior to Oreo going live, mm. and and already. Uh, you, you buy your device you might take it out the box it might be sitting on the shelf you take it out the box it's got uh, Nougat or Android mm. 7 on it switch it on looks for the updates downloads and you've got the yeah, new platform got the latest. all the yeah. new benefits and there's been you know a lot of benefits in terms of battery optimization mm. new notifications mm. uh, you know uh, picture in picture so there's a lot of new features that okay. uh, a lot of people won't know about so then talk to me about some of these features about Aria, which uh, and how this would affect my day to day experience of the phone well, so a lot of, as I say, applications, when applications can and can't run in the background, because a lot of applications, you know, third-party applications, they need connectivity. Mm. And, and so some of the time, these applications, the whole time, like, hi, here I am, here, here I am, you know, mm. on, on the phone. Mm. Well, what, what um, one of the improvements in Aria is that when applications are allowed to run, when they are allowed to ping, and, you know, and that, that gives for improved uh, battery life. Mm. There's also the new notification badges where you can sort of likely tap and you get sort of more information from the notifications as opposed to just an unread count. Yeah. There's also then uh, picture in picture, which, uh, which is really great. So you can be on a WhatsApp call and you can sort so of... That split screen uh, not, not, not only split screen, yeah. but now you get picture in picture, picture okay. in other applications okay. where you actually say you're on a WhatsApp call, you can actually minimize that and have a small little in the bottom right-hand corner and still mm. be in the application. Okay. So you can be reading a social media post while having a you know. Video so if I'm if I'm chatting to my mom on WhatsApp and I'm bored with the conversation, I Correct. can start looking through my pictures and hundred percent not listening. <laughs> but the, but the split screen is another great yeah. thing. Something that I use often is like you know when you're making uh, you know or example. I always say you got to use an example. An example I use is say when I'm making payments mm. uh, and you're setting up someone sure. on, on banking. Yeah, yeah. Now it's great. You can sort of have your banking application on the one half of the mm. screen. You can have your email open. Copying. You can copy account and number. paste yeah. account numbers. Put sure. that in and yeah. yeah so it's wonderful. Huh? Sure. Yeah, new ways to to to, to use uh, devices. We love the improvement. Let's talk talk more specifically about the flagship Nokia 8, the phone I've been using for about the last three months now. It has a phenomenal battery life, um, some nifty design features, and one touch live streaming functionality. Let's talk to us more about that, Patrick. So, uh, Nokia 8, I always talk about it a flagship in terms of performance, mm. design, and experience because okay. it's not just about one feature. It's yeah. about how you package this together to make it work for you in everyday mm. life. Mm. So, you know, from the cool design fe uh, features such as there's a, there's a heat pipe at the back of it which you won't see unless you open up the device okay. but that allows for cooling because it was always something that comes through is about when I use my phone a lot it gets really hot okay. so we've actually built in like a little uh, a cooling pipe yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a, a cooling pipe in the device to, to keep it you know even mm. though you're sort of you're using the device keep it cool mm. um, great display that's always a point you know you need to have great display and it always comes to, to reading it outside you know mm. when you're outside in bright sunlight mm. South Africans love to be outdoors mm. and that mm. You know, to be able to read your device. So great battery, great uh, screen, great battery life. And then, of course, you know, a, a key feature for us was this was for enter uh, creators. Mm. We talk about this, you know, creators, people who are like yourself, yeah. who create content. Sure. You're amazing. You, you, you the target market for this device yeah, because, yeah. and that's where the, the, the dual sight camera came from. Mm. It was wonderful. Yeah. What, what are people or who create content? What is something that they're gonna need? Mm -hmm. And that's what I really liked about the the Nokia Eight, which is was co-developed with Zeiss Optics for the front and rear cameras. And you and I were talking off air about the front-facing camera um, and and at the development of that camera over um, <laughs> selfies have taken off <laughs> as uh, creators have gone a little bit moggy with it. Um, what I really like is that it, it takes great content. So for someone like me, as you mentioned, who who does this for a living, but also for someone who just wants to up their social media game you're getting great content you're getting great um imagery imagery and video from these lenses uh, and that's uh, that's what it's about it's about taking you know the years ago you know you used to read things about like you know at the moment you're reading about how bitcoin's going to replace currency I yeah mean, five six years ago you were reading about how the mobile phone's going to replace the digital camera sure you know and i think we we're there already yeah. so you've got to have a good quality camera and it's also important then to 
you know, move with the time. So have new features with these cameras mm. because people are finding new ways to use them. To use them, them 100%. That's always the, what I find interesting is that, you know, we launch something and we talk about a new technology and, and, and we give a few examples, but we never actually know how it's going to take off and what. And, and just talking off air, you know, the front-facing camera was supposed to be for 3G video calling. Mm, mm. That was its main <laughs> aim, you know. <laughs> Not that anymore. Not that, how, 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 how everything changes. Yeah, yeah. Talking about new features that the Nokia 8 has come with, you guys have come to market with what you call dual sight functionality or bothy mode, hashtag mm. bothy, um, which sees a single screen incorporating both the front and rear-facing cameras. Um, you guys, as Nokia, are calling us to be less selfie and more bothy. Um, tell us more about this dual um, this dual sight so it, it also all starts there with uh, another great partner of ours qualcomm so it starts with the processor because mm. what you're essentially doing now is you're taking images from you know if, if we talk in video mm. you're taking images from front and back mm. you're putting them together and you're creating a single image yeah, from this crazy. so that takes great uh, processing mm. power and and this is something that you know nokia 8 delivers on mm. with mm. Uh, the qualcomm 835 mobile platform mm. so perf- that's where you know i come in with the, the performance yeah and then the experience now being able to you know previously you would be able to do so live streaming from an application. Mm. Um, you would be, and you'd be able to, you know, live stream from going to Facebook. And, correct. Yeah. So, so what the decision there was like? Let's make it directly from the camera. Mm. You know, not a one touch go in. You know, you've mm. got your credentials in there. At the click of a button, you're live streaming. And mm. the first for us, we were the first guys to be able to actually do both uh, images. Yeah. So dual sight. Dual sight. Live know, streaming. Live streaming. Yes, you know, yes. the front and the back, putting that together, and then. Uh, sending that as a file and showing it live on Facebook or YouTube. When I was in Cape Town recently, I was using the Nokia 8 and I was driving into town, um, coming towards Table Mountain on the highway, and I had the I had the camera set up on the dashboard of the car, and the left the the the, the main camera was focusing on the mountain I was driving towards, and the other one was inside focusing on me, and I was talking to everyone. We did a great Facebook live, um, where you got you get to see what I really like about the dual site is that you get to actually see what I'm talking about. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So you see me talking to you, and you see what I'm actually seen it's it's a great interactive um ability that you have and there's always you know there's a it's the telling the story as it unfolds yes and i I think a lot of the time content is you know a also once again i always like to use examples you know a a bbc wildlife show just wouldn't be the same without Mm. you know that voice yes (laughs) (laughs) you know the voice and and i mean so sometimes and also a lot (gasps) of the times content and what people are saying we take so much from visual facial Mm. cues very much so. All right. So if I, I'm the kind of person, I'm very expressive. I'm over expressive. Yeah. yeah. So if you just listen to my voice, that's how I'm going to use this guy. <laughs> yeah. You, you know, but sometimes my face is making a funny face. Now yeah. what's great is I can be describing something. And you can see the enthusiasm. You can see what I'm describing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you can see my face, which yeah. is which, no. which I find amazing. Wonderful. If you guys have a look on my social media, on Twitter and on Facebook, on my blog Facebook page, you'll see I did a video over the weekend called My Three Landmark, My Three Favorite Landmarks in Joburg. We have visited three landmarks in Joburg. Um, using and I shot the whole thing on um, the Nokia 8 using a lot of the um, the bothy mode the uh, dual sight um, and yeah come and explore with you come and see how, how well this process is working see how well the function works in terms of dual sight um, and see what we're talking about it's there on my Facebook at the moment if you, if you have a look um, when we come back I'm going to carry on talking to Patrick and we're going to start talking about the winner of that Nokia 6 from the Insta Walk on Saturday <laughs> You're tuned in to Soapbox Radio. To Soapbox Radio. Podding it out there with, with my line, line boots. boots. Share your thoughts and be part of the show now. Send a message on Twitter or Facebook at my line boots. Find my line boots on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at my line boots and on you 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 YouTube at my line boots live. I'm back this morning chatting to Patrick Henchy from HMD, in the home of Nokia Mobile. Patrick, before the jingles, we were talking about um, the, the dual site mode. Quickly, before we get into InstaWalk, um, how are you guys seeing users interpreting this this dual site mode? Well, uh, it's as I say, you, you launch something, you put it out there, and uh, I mean, our interaction with you has been amazing. Yeah. And I mean, you sort of actually driving some innovation, saying, oh, I'd like to try this, I'd, sure. I'd like to do that, which, which is incredible. And I think we'll see... This experience only get better as more people start using it for for different uh, different things. Functions, eh? yeah. different functions, yeah. Okay, great. Um, I see Nabila's come to us on um, 
Facebook and says the Jewel site is amazing. She was with us at the Inter- Insta Walk on Friday. I should have had it at the Brian Adams concert. There's a there's an application <laughs> we haven't even thought about. Have you thought about that? I know you're a massive concert person. Oh, I love going to concerts yeah. And, and yeah, it's that I know we always used to take sort of like you know, my wife and I when we have a concert we went to sort yeah. of put that arm around and hold yes. the camera up and take it. You don't have to do that anymore. Uh, you know, I did it. I've got, I've got a few images already yes. of a couple of the concerts I've been to where I, I've done the both things. So yeah, yeah concerts, okay. great. Love it. Wonderful. Great, great idea there. Um, as you know, Patrick, I hosted an Insta walk around Melville last Saturday and we had um, Nokia 8 devices on hand for the guys to test out, um, including using the both mode. Um, the four photo finalists can be seen. So I selected four from a uh, huge number of images we got from, from the walk. Um, four finalists can be seen as the pin post on my blog Facebook page. So if you're listening to us or watching us on the live stream, um, go to the pin post on My Line Boots blog and you will see the four images which made the finalists. The guys have been voting like champions this week. Uh, I think people have been mobilizing entire social communities to vote for them. Um, uh, tell us, Patrick, what are your thoughts on some of these images? Um, I see image number three is a bothy photo. Um, some thoughts on the images because you are a judge. <laughs> Judge jury and executioner, probably not that today, but just judge. Well, well, Ryan told me I had uh, complete carte blanche here, <laughs> and, and, I, and I had to choose a photo. And, you know, I love all of them. They, they're, yeah. they're really great. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a book lover. I'm a bok lover. I'm a light lover. <laughs> but, uh, you know, as a, as a parent, yeah. well, I, and as a parent of a young boy, yeah. Just that the photo number one, yeah. it just it really touched something with me. Just that you know, and and I think it resonates back to you, uh, the, the hope that we feel as a company is HMD. You know, just yes. that expectant look on yes. that face that I'm gonna have so much fun. Yeah, yeah. You know, look at that, and so I, I had to go you with enjoy number that one. one. So okay, we're gonna come back to that now. If you have a look at the four photos, you will see the first one. Patrick's talking about a Ziad son, um, looking at a, his little toy car in a shop window in Melville. Um, great use, I think, of the live bokeh there where he's blurred the background. Uh, number two, which is Rouge Bonabila. Um, she's done a nice black and white also with a bokeh effect. I really like that one with her in the background behind it. It looks like she stood behind a chandelier or something. Um, I'm not sure which shop she was in in that one. Darren, on image number three, um, used the bothy mode. Um, I'm not sure which shop he found where he got this image, but it's got this great. On the on the right-hand side of the image is a picture of a springbuck who's got a nifty pair of pink sunglasses and a pair of uh, <laughs> pearls around its neck, yeah. which made for a really great shot. Um, and also a firm favorite, number four, Sandy's shot, um, Sandy Dubé, um, inside the Marvel Book Dealers, um, with great leading lines of the two bookshelves leading into her in a great red dress and red hat. So some great entries. Um, so Patrick um, I'm going to now ask uh, you know d- d- in terms of the voting um, I mean the, the votes have become quite close I mean we had so much votes for so many people across all the different platforms um, lots of interest on in all of the images um, in addition to the votes that the, the option is now lying with you to decide on a final winner Final thoughts? Are you going to stick with Ziad's uh, son? I have to. I have to go down one. It was just, you <laughs> know, one. it's such a, okay. it's such a, it's a, it's a personal thing. Yes. Really, really, you know, and just that look of exper- look of glee. The, yeah. so, so there's just so many things about that that touched me. So Wonderful. I have to Great. go with that one. Well, well done, Ziad uh, from I Love ZA. Your picture, image number one, has won the Nokia Six. I'll be in touch with you shortly, um, and we'll be getting your device to you. Thanks, guys, for for taking part in it. Thanks for everyone who came along on Saturday to support us and enjoy their time with the Nokia. I hope you guys really um, got to understand more about how the phone works and what the features are other than just the bothy mode um, and hope we're going to be doing some some of that, uh, some more of that shortly to the other guys who uh, partook well done to you too um, and thank you for everyone for voting we're also running a, a giveaway for um, amongst the voters and I randomly selected somebody this morning they're winning a, a, a great um, Abercrombie & Fitch First Instinct um, fragrance and the winner is Nicola Mayer who on Twitter goes under the handle of uh, Run On Coffee completely random just went through all the platforms chose uh, one from each platform and then amongst the platforms randomly chose one well done Nicola I'll be in touch with you guys all a little bit later to organize your address and um, everything that will come through to you. It's been great dealing with you guys and um, oh, thank you very much for, for, um, for taking part. Um, when we're back, we're going to carry on chatting to Patrick. You're tuned in to Soapbox Radio. To Soapbox Radio. Podding it out there with, with my line, line Boots. boots. Share your thoughts and be part of the show now. Send a message on Twitter or Facebook at MyLineBoots. Find MyLineBoots on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. At MyLineBoots and on YouTube. 
at My Line Boots live. I'm back this morning chatting to Patrick from Nokia. Uh, Patrick, tell us, what can we expect to see from Nokia in 2018? If we've had 11 new phones in 11 months, are we going to up that pace? <laughs> are you going to maintain that pace? <laughs> no, without giving too much <laughs> away, I think it's important to understand that we... Uh, Nokia was always a brand for everybody. Mm. Nokia was always about democratizing technology. It was always about, you know, a, a device for everybody. Yeah. So really, I think we'll, you know, the, the portfolio will, uh, you know, remain or we'll have a, you know, sort of a full portfolio of devices okay. at, at, at various points in the market for people. Yeah. Um, and then also, just, hmm. uh, just on touching on that, you know, uh, feature phone. Yeah. So the, the dumb phone. Okay, it's still such a big part of our life, a big part of our life in South Africa, in yeah. Africa, in the rest of the world. Yeah. So yes, we you know smartphones is a big deal for us, but also still very much committed to that that future fund, uh, and, and just you know connecting connecting people. Yeah, yeah. You know, making sure that uh, it doesn't matter where you are in life, that you have the ability to have a phone and mm. you know be connected. Okay. Can we expect some more interesting features? Both it was 2017. What is going to be the feature of 2018? Oh, let's <laughs> let's wait for 2018. We'll do the we'll, we'll have the show again next year. And, and then we'll, we'll talk about do, that. We'll talk okay, about this is a, this cool. a set slot for each year, <laughs> hey, with <Yeah>. us. <laughs> Patrick, tell us where can the guys get hold of uh, Nokia um, if they want to express interest in in, in the various options available? Wow, well, you know, for for purchase, I mean, we really this is you know testament to the to the brand, the, the availability uh, across all major retailers, across all networks. Uh, you you know, in store and mm. that. So, yeah, really, it, it's not difficult to find one. Okay. If you guys have a look on my Facebook and Twitter, you'll see I've posted all of Nokia's contact details um, across the various social platforms. Get in touch with them there. It's amazing what you guys have done in 11 months. If you just talk about availability in all the different retailers in 11 months to bring that back and to secure those deals. Sure. I take my hat off to you guys and I say well done. And Thanks I look forward much. to what 2018 brings. Yeah, definitely. So we, we're really excited about it. Bring Great. it on. 100%. Thank you so much, Patrick. Thanks, Ryan. Guys, that was now the final show see, for 2017. Thank you very much for joining me each week here on Soapbox Radio. We've done 41 shows to today. So, yeah, I started in February. We've been busy with you guys and we've got great things planned for next year. I look forward to um, working with new sponsors next year. We've got some great concepts in terms of what we'll be doing. We're going to be getting out there more often um, and some great stuff lined up for you guys. Always trying to find the best ways for you guys to win and to take part. Thank you so much for engaging with me week after week as you send your messages on Facebook and on Twitter. Um, I really enjoy that. I, I pray you keep it up and I pray you have a good, blessed Christmas. I pray New Year is a, is a good time for you, a time of rest, and that you're ready for 2018 because I know we're coming back on Soapbox Radio big time next year. I'll chat you guys in the new year. Cheers. Cheers. You've been listening to Soapbox Radio. Potting it out there with my, 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 my lime boots. Find My Lime Boots on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. At My Lime Boots and on you, 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 YouTube. At My Lime Boots Live.